Welcome back to the Celtic Farm in our Permaculture Principles series. I'm Master Gardener Steve, and today we're diving into one of the core principles of permaculture, use and value renewable resources. This principle emphasizes making the most of what nature provides while reducing our reliance on non-renewable resources. By using renewable energy, harvesting rainwater, and recycling materials, we can build more resilient and self-sustaining gardens. Let's explore how. In permaculture, each principle builds upon the last, helping us design ecosystems that are in harmony with nature. Today's focus on renewable resources is all about creating systems that are not only sustainable, but regenerative, designed to last for generations. We'll cover solar energy, rainwater harvesting, and ways to reuse and recycle garden materials, all within a permaculture framework. Solar energy is an excellent way to catch and store energy, which is one of permaculture's core principles. By integrating solar panels into your garden, you're harnessing the sun's energy to power everything from irrigation systems to garden lights and small appliances. Solar panels offer a renewable, low-maintenance solution that reduces your carbon footprint. Set up panels to power water pumps, drip irrigation systems, valves, or electric mowers, all essential tools in a permaculture system. For smaller gardens, try solar-powered path lights or solar fountains. These not only improve garden aesthetics, but also minimize energy use. Here at Celtic Farm, we have some remote irrigation systems where we actually use solar-powered valves to uh, control our water. In permaculture, we value natural resources and aim to minimize waste. Rainwater harvesting is a perfect example of this principle at work. Rainwater, naturally free of chlorine and other chemicals, is the healthiest water source for your plants. Use barrels to collect rain from rooftops and direct it where it's needed the most. This not only conserves water, but also creates a closed loop system within your garden. If your terrain allows, try gravity fed irrigation directly from rain barrels. This technique distributes water efficiently, even without pumps. Rainwater harvesting ties to the catch and store energy principle as it ensures water availability during dry spells, supporting a self-sufficient garden. Permaculture is all about minimizing waste and creatively using materials. By recycling items, you're actively implementing the principle of produce no waste. Turn old pallets into raised beds, upcycle containers into planters, and compost kitchen scraps into nutrient-rich soil amendments. This closed-loop approach reduces your garden's waste output while enriching the soil and maximizing resources. For a permaculture twist, use biodegradable mulch like straw, crinkle paper, or leaves. These natural mulches break down over time and return nutrients to the soil, improving its structure. Another nod to permaculture's focus on sustainable cycles. Here at Celtic, we actually recycle our clean cardboard and use it for mulch and a soil additive uh, throughout our beds. Mulching with organic materials is integral to is an integral part of permaculture design. It supports the principle of use and value renewable resources by preventing moisture loss, reducing erosion, and enhancing soil fertility. Opt for biodegradable mulches that not only protect your plants, but break down and enrich the soil. By using these natural mulches, you'll create a healthy, more balanced ecosystem that requires less watering, further supporting the principle of reducing external inputs. Choosing the right plants for your permaculture garden is essential. By selecting native species, perennials, and drought-tolerant varieties, you reduce the need for external resources like water and fertilizers. Native plants are perfectly adapted to the local climate and attract pollinators, supporting biodiversity, another key aspect of permaculture design. Perennials, once established, return each year, reducing the need for replanting and preserving soil health. Drought-tolerant plants like lavender, sage, or succulents thrive with minimal watering, conserving a valuable resource. These plant choices align with permaculture's principle of integrate rather than segregate, as they work harmoniously within the garden ecosystem. In permaculture, every decision is an opportunity to create a more regenerative and self-sustaining garden. 
By focusing on renewable resources like solar, rainwater, and recycled materials, you'll actively embrace the principle of using and valuing these renewable resources. This approach not only reduces waste, but conserves energy and aligns with the broader goal of creating abundance through sustainable design. If you're enjoying our Permaculture Principles series, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share your thoughts in the comments below. Let's continue growing together one sustainable step at a time.